Erasmus Days were first held at the University of Limerick in 2017 to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the European Union's very innovative Erasmus Plus programme. This event was to celebrate the success of the Erasmus programme at the university, but also to showcase the life-changing experience that being involved in the Erasmus Plus programme enables. We now move to the 35th anniversary of the Erasmus Plus programme, and we wish to showcase some of the projects that the University of Limerick is currently involved in. So the IDEA project is the Erasmus Plus project that um, we here at the University of Limerick Disability Support Services are um, part of. Um, the key aim of this project is to increase access and to support to, to higher education for students with disabilities within the Western Balkans regions. Um, this project has 16 partners, um, a number of partners from uh, Kosovo, from Albania, from Montenegro, uh, partners uh, from Ireland, obviously us, uh, Greece and also the Czech Republic. And what's really interesting about this project is that they also included um, partners outside of HEI um, spaces and they included a number of NGOs. So that meant that we were not only looking at what was happening within higher education in this area but also looking at what was happening in their local communities. Within our own office within Disability Services we really focused on um, looking at how policy has framed our practices and how that has developed in Ireland over the last 10 to 15 years and the impact that that has had for us. I'm going to speak about the TRIP project. So TRIP is Training and Realising Innovations in Internationalisation at Home Pedagogies. This is a project that is coordinated by the University of Limerick and involves five different partners. These partners include some of our eMERGE partners, University of Wren II, uh, the University of Matej Bell and Flensburg University, but also brings in associate partners including the Complutense University of Madrid and the University of the Western Cape in South Africa. The project is set on putting forward a framework for internationalisation at home on three different levels. Framework holistically provides a complete picture when it comes to internationalisation at home and what that means uh, when you look at it in the context of the UN sustainability goals. So ultimately the, the, the role of the project is for our institutions to provide and to, to take an active role in addressing the UN SDGs focused on equality, diversity and inclusion. The project is basically designed to enhance how we teach engineers at third level. So my job through working with, again, very skilled and very passionate engineers is to support them as they select evidence-based practices to enhance their teaching. We have no idea of the potential of the two or three hundred students in front of us. And a small bit of extra, let's say, targeted teaching, a small bit of extra evidence-based practice could empower somebody to go on and solve one of the biggest problems that we face as a species, as a society, at an international level, however you wish to qualify it. So my hope for the project is that we support and enhance teaching so that someday one of our exceptionally talented students can go forth and solve a major problem to the benefit of all mankind. It's all about working with other people who have different strengths than you do and then both of you developing core competencies off the back of that interaction. So while that's happening within the University of Limerick, it's also happening in our partnership with a university in Aachen in Germany and Chalmers University in Sweden. So we work with people who are very good at things that we are not very good at. They help us to develop, we help them to develop and collectively then we forge very strong ties so that in the future not only are we leaving better developed academics but we now have very good partnerships that we're going to bring into bigger projects and hopefully bigger successes in the future. Well, I'm involved with two projects. The first one is ESTA, it's called Educating Science Teachers for All. What we're trying to do with that project is to develop more responsible and more inclusive science uh, teacher education programmes, so particularly focusing on linguistic heterogeneity um, among science teachers. 
So we're working with Talavi uh, State University and Ilya State University in Georgia. Then we're working um, with the University of Sarajevo and the University of Mostar in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And in the Philippines, we're working with the Normal University and De La Salle University as well. And the project is coordinated. It's led out by my colleague, um, Professor Sylvia Markic. Um, and Sylvia would be across the University of Ludwigsburg in Germany and has recently moved to Ludwig's Maximilian um, University in Munich. This project is funded by Erasmus Plus again and it's the Social Inclusion and Common Values Programme and the project is entitled Diversity in Science Towards um, Social Inclusion. We're seeing, I suppose, really, really at the moment and it's really come to the fore in recent years. There's underrepresentation in science. What they talk about is, you know, male, stay, pale and stale. <laughs> and we want to challenge that and to do that there's a number, it's, it's not one size fits all and it is not going to be um, you know, one pill to solve all the problems of that. It's a multi-faceted approach that we need to take. We are all learning from these projects and that's really, really powerful.